adverbs, going above and beyond with comparative and superlative forms. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to another lesson. Today, we're diving deep into the world of adverbs, specifically focusing on comparative and superlative adverbs. By the end of this video, you'll be comfortable using these forms in your day-to-day -day conversations, essays, and more. Before we start comparing and superlating, I know, not a real word, but it's fun. Let's make sure we understand what an adverb is. An adverb is a word that modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It often ends in li, like quickly, slowly, or beautifully. But what about comparative and superlative forms? Let's break it down. Comparative adverbs are used when you're comparing the actions of two people or things. They often end in er or are used with more or less. For example, she runs faster than me or he works more efficiently than his colleague. Superlative adverbs are used when you're comparing the action of one person or thing with everyone else in a group. They often end in est or are used with most or least. For example, she runs the fastest in her team or he works the most efficiently in the office. When it comes to using comparative and superlative adverbs, there are a couple of rules you should keep in mind. For one-syllable adverbs, we add er for the comparative form and est for the superlative form. For example, fast becomes faster and fastest. For adverbs that end with li, we usually use more for the comparative form and most for the superlative form. For example, slowly becomes more slowly and most slowly. But remember, English is a tricky language and there are always exceptions. For instance, the word early is an adverb that ends with li, but we use er and est for its comparative and superlative forms, earlier and earliest. Let's practice with some examples. Comparative, he works more quickly than I do. Superlative, he works the most quickly of anyone in the office. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use these in your conversations and writing, the more natural they'll feel. Well, there you have it, folks. A dive into the world of comparative and superlative adverbs. You're now well equipped to add more detail, comparison, and interest to your conversations and writing. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be comparing and superlating like a pro. As always, thanks for joining in, and I can't wait to see you in our next lesson. Happy learning!